Connor, what, back after a week off or a, a, a few days off, how much needed was that? Yeah, I think it was much needed for everyone really. I think obviously we played a lot of games in short space of time and I think in the end we, we need just the break come at the right time. Obviously we would have continued to play, no problem, but it came at an unexpected time, but probably good for the lads. It, it, you say yeah, it was good and nice to kind of get a bit of a refresher. But you know, you were playing well. You were you were going well. You started well this season, didn't you? Yeah, we started off pretty well and quite pleased with the performances. Would have probably liked a couple of more points on the board, but it wasn't to be. But no, I think we've we started off positively. It's a big game this weekend. I mean, it's not a bad one to come back into, is it? Sheffield Wednesday at home, uh, one of the, the favourites, I suppose, for promotion this year. Yeah, obviously the the Portsmouth game got cancelled, which would have been a massive mm. game as well. So this is another huge one and one we're looking forward to. Hopefully a, a packed crowd and against a good team. So it'll be a very good test for us. Last year, we had a few of them without supporters, obviously, the likes of Sunderland and, and Ipswich and, and Pompey, as you mentioned. But to play in these sort of games when there is going to be a massive crowd, what is that like as a as a player? It's the best. It's why it's why you play really. I think that's been the massive difference this year. Having the crowd back, you've noticed the difference already out there. So I'm sure Saturday will be absolutely bouncing. There's, I was looking at their squad, and you know they've got a guy in goal, Bailey Pe- Pe- Peacock Fowler, who saved two penalties for Northern Ireland in the international break. They've just signed Ser- Sado Berrino, striker up front, Barry Bannon, who's played a lot of games in the Premier League and played for Scotland. To test your wits against guys like that, you know, must be quite quite exciting I suppose definitely it's what you want to do it's what you want to play against the better players and they've got a good squad they've got a lot of quality in the squad and it's a case of us showing what we can do as well we can't go there just fearful we've got to try and implement our game on it and and be confident and try and get the win as always how confident is the squad feeling at the moment bearing in mind the, the start you've had yeah I think we are I think we're a together group I think everyone's on the, on the right page and I think we're all pretty much playing with confidence and I think there's more to come from us as well which is which is good Just a final one for me um, you've played pre- pretty much all the games at, started anyway at left wing back which we're used to seeing you there in the last the last couple of seasons Ryan Law's emerged this year and he's and is pushing you a wee bit isn't he I think he's, he's playing some, some really good stuff and is that is that good even though it's not a position that you would normally necessarily say you wanted to play in at left wing back but you have done and now there's another lad there that's pushing you and keeping you going. Yeah, definitely in a squad, it's vital. You need that. You need that um, competition. And Lawsy, as you say, he's done really well, and he's pushing me, and it's great. It's great for the squad, and we need that in all positions, really.